Using all my inner strength, suppressing the anxiety. I'm about to have a panic attack. It's a rhyme and a mechanic of rap. You slave minded, his manacles back. I'm lean muscle, you just animal fat. My team hustle, this is actual fat. No hypothesis, try stopping this, try to figure that hot pot. What's really good, ladies and gentlemen? It's the OG Boricua Dandada, a.k.a. the commissioner today for this MLW series. I'm here with none other than Macho and also Ivalonce. Ivalonce looks like he's super busy right now. Gentlemen. Yeah. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm getting my, 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 my keypad ready for my, for my picks, brother. <laughs> so, I'm, looking, um, I'm looking at my picks. So for everybody... Who we kind of kept this shady. We don't try to give anybody any new material for them to do their podcast. We're going to do a mock draft for the MLW draft that's about to happen on the 20th. I'm super excited for this. I'm going to be your commissioner. So I'm literally just going to go to the guys, ask them who their picks are from. Me and, all, me and Ivalonte had talked earlier, and I was like, you know what? Instead of doing it the way he thought it was, I still think, it will go smoother if we do one by one because it builds up for the fans if they get into this and everything else. Who's he going to pick? Who's this? So right, Are we, are, are we going to give credit to whose idea this is? This is my idea. I thought this was Vink. Oh, no, no, no. Vink, hold on. So let me give Vink mad credit because Bill Vink was saying, I think the draft is going to have uh, Azteca Underground as the Wednesday show on YouTube and... MLW doing the Vice TV show, so be two shows. And he goes, I think the draft would work that way. And I thought that was awesome. And then he started saying, look, dude, like, maybe you should do a draft. But I already said to him, what you think about doing a draft? And then he gave me all the info. So him being smarter than me, listen, I'm 40-something years old, took a lot of hits in the head. Kid smarty smart. I can't help it. But um, he gets a little love for it. Now, we did do the coin toss prior to this, and Evil Onse, who was representing Azteca Underground, got the number one pick. So, I'm going to ask you, you are now on the clock, your number one pick, even though we all know who it is, Mr. Okay. Evil Onse, with the number one pick, who are you drafting and why? Dude. Is there any doubt to the number one pick is? I mean, ain't no doubt. It, 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 it does no suspense. But uh, the, my, with my number one pick stands the future MLW heavyweight champion of the world, standing a six seven chiseled god body like blondish hair. My man, your man, Mr. Hammerstone. Absolutely. And Listen. the crowd goes wild. Oh, yeah. Listen, MLW fans will not complain. But if you had to put specifically what is your reasoning for him being, besides you think he's the future, they made it worse, uh, besides him being the future, who do you think would actually be, uh, why actually is he your number one pick, besides him being what you think is the future? Dude, the, the, the guy is solid gold. Look at him. I mean, he's chiseled. He has the look. He he has he, he's athletic, he has the talent. I mean he's he's marketable. He's he, the number one thing. He's marketable. You can market around him. He's part of the best group, the dynasty. I mean, dude, the the, the dude is 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 everything right now. He's he's a champion. He's gonna be the future MLW champion. No questions asked on why he's number one. You know, but yeah, he's number one. Listen, I love Hammerstone. I agree with everything he says. I, I know we have we see a face, but we're not trying to make this super long and have him hate the pick and then go back and forth. But what I will say yeah. is Alexander Hammerstone, to me, is one of the bright spots in all of professional wrestling. I think Alexander Hammerstone can go with anybody. I don't care how big they are, how small they are. He fits in with everybody. Um, we're going to shoot over to... Obviously, Macho, who looks super angry at the Hammerstone pick. And with your, pick, fine. Or your fine. first pick, who would you take? I, I'm not even hateful about it. I understand it. He He's a Hammerstone mark. I get it. It's fine. He's a good-looking guy. Oh, he, whoa, whoa. Can I cut you off when you said Hammerstone? It may remind me. 
if that shirt comes out, the hammer dick shirt, are you ordering that? Dude, as a fan, he should get the hammer dick shirt. I'm being honest. Like, right. <laughs> if, 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 if it comes out and if, if, if it's not too vulgar and graphic, you never know. I so su- I support the everybody know I support the talent. Absolutely. That's, that 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 that's fine. That's all adorable. He 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 he's the face. He's the good guy. That's nice. That's great. But let's be honest. He pales in comparison to my first pick, who should only ever be the first pick in anybody's book if they've got any sense about how this this whole MLW works. He is no, the reigning, book. defending champion of MLW. The king at the top of the mountain, the one and only Fatu. Okay? Fatu is the two-year running champ. He's a beast. He has taken on all comers. All right? He has literally stomped his way up and down that division, and nobody's going to take it from him. Zero. All right? And as per your interview with none other than Joseph Samael... Whatever. We, 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 we got you. Hell Contra. With none other than Joseph Samael. All right. He told you, yes, he wants it. No, he doesn't necessarily get it. Pipes and dreams. Story time. Enjoy your fairy tales. Whatever. So, Fatu, two, the number one. All right. Listen, Hell Contra, I, Contra above all. I will never hate on anybody out of Contra. I'm a huge Contra mark. I love Jacob Fatsu, and to me, he's the best on the planet right now. Personally, if I wish we could get one of those him versus Roman Reigns, him versus Kenny Omega, him versus whoever your champ is at the time. Him versus Hammer Dick. He's going to smash the shit out of Hammerstone, okay? He's going to make the same example he ha- of him as he has everybody else who stepped up to him. First of all, this is not a wrestling show right now. This is a draft pick show. We don't need your commentary. You <laughs> Clearly you do, because I had to enlighten you let's as to why stick, it's Contra. Let's stick, let's stick to the draft format, please. Well, listen, Commissioner, Contra. Commissioner, big Commissioner, can you mute him, please? So, so Contra. listen, listen, with the second pick coming up, and by now they'll have really cool sound effects because I downloaded them for free. Gentlemen, I'm going to go back to Evil Onse. Second pick of the draft, who do you have? Well, this ain't uh, once again no brainer. They are the heart of Texas. They are the sons of one of the, the most famous family last day in the history of wrestling today and ever. And they will be for the next 100 years. And that will be the homies, Marshall and Ross, Devon Eriks. Whoa, whoa, can he do that? Can he do that? Is he allowed to pick tag teams? Hold on. I thought we covered this before. We were doing one by one. So what we'll do, what we'll do, because he's going nuts. He's going to lose two picks right now. Exactly. That's what we talked about, yes. Yes, so he'll lose two picks right now. Well, that's three picks right there for me. So This guy's just making them up as he goes. We we (laughs) spoke about it. I asked I asked this last night. So we never we never got an answer. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. You can have you can have the Von Eric, the big hand, the claw. All right. I I won't I I don't talk shit about Texas. All right. I'm in Texas. Fine. The Von Erics. Dude, the Von Erics are, are wrestling royalty. Two Von Erics, right? Fine. Yes, Whatever. sir. So he's got he's his second and third pick has been picked. So that means you have your second and third pick to go. I gotta shuffle stuff around because he's over here being greedy. That's fine. <laughs> just just stick to the contract unit. You get five A picks right there, right off the muscle. Don't worry listen, about contra unit. Hold okay? on, listen, Macho. Yeah, there's a thing that's going on here. I don't know if you see all the crazy hoopla between Joe Budden firing everybody. Yes, but, I saw that. Yes. But on this podcast, we fire a lot of people. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. So your second and third pick, sir. I'm not afraid of nothing. I, ain't never I did it. this before Joe Budden did this. Yes. <laughs> That's true. And number two, the one and only Akuru Kwan. Let's go. Okay. Hey. Contra unit. Speak the, the man speaks for himself, okay? 
He's coming. He's gonna come in hot. He's gonna make some. It's, hell, he can even go after your precious Hammerstone and take his belt from him. He's that good. Yeah, All right, go with him, he calls him out. All right, so don't be surprised if that call out doesn't happen. Number three, one and only the Iranian super soldier Davari. Okay. Wow, what a surprise! Wow, what a Why surprise! Would, who doesn't go with Contra Unit? Crazy what people. Crazy what people don't go with Contra. That's who. What a surprise. Hell, Contra. Can, can, we, can we let him pick the next four, five, and six? Sure. And really be on Contra units? You sure. know what? Vance Kruger. Unit yeah, yeah, Vance Kruger. <laughs> the Black Hand of Contra. Because you'd have to be crazy not to go with the Black Hand of Contra. All right, that's four. All right. That's four. four. No, no, I'm not going to be greedy. I'm going to let you pick up your next one and two. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. We, it's, we're, we, I'm good. We, I've, we know it's going to be Contra I've, units. I've, so I've, I've, made, I've made my point. You know Contra runs the entirety of MLW. Go ahead. Pick up somebody else. Go ahead. Well, well, with my fourth, fifth, and sixth pick, it's going to be Injustice. I just built the best company right now with my six picks. Why, right why Injustice? Injustice, a minor reef champion. Uh, Mr. Oliver, future champion. Then they picked up the big dude, the uh, tank man there who looks like little Will Hobbs, little cousin. Cal hey. Tankman. Yeah, Cal Tankman. He looks like Will Hobbs' cousin there from AEW. Is Can't he in justice? justice? Yeah. Official? I thought yeah. he was helping him out. No, no, nah, nah, he's, he's officially in justice. justice. All right, cool, cool, cool. So that's from you right there. I got six picks right there. I just made my company right there. So Macho's got all four contra units. So right now, Macho, I need your fifth and sixth pick. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some swerves here. All right, sure. Yeah, contra actually. unit. <laughs> yeah. You could be salty. You could be looking over your shoulder too, because you know somebody's clearly watching your house. Contra, contra, you're on hey, contra's hey, list, hey, and you hey, know hey, it. Hey, hey. Hey, that, watching hey, don't, you. Contra's don't, watching hey, you. Let's say that. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Have you seen the new T-shirts? Hey. Number five. Uh, indie wrestler by the name of War Horse. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen War Horse, but he yes. is yes. got legs. He's been yes. all over the independent scene. He has wrestled for... AEW, he's wrestled on Ring of Honor, he's wrestled in Japan, he's wrestled on... The, he's everywhere. Yep. The kid is young, has yep. a phenomenal move set. he can go, yep. he stands out, he's good. I'm telling you, if they picked him up, nobody would be mad. War yep. Horse is legit. War Horse is legit. I, I agree with him, because he had a good match there with Cody Rose there for the TNT title a couple of months ago. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, yeah, he's and, legit. And talented, yeah, talented. He's legit. Yeah, he's okay. legit. I'm not mad at that. All right, then. You want me to pick up another, or do you want to, we're going to go back and forth? You, six. you got one more. Lee Moriarty. Who? Lee Moriarty. Lee Moriarty has wrestled for uh, GCW. He's an up and coming indie dude. He's, a, he's amazing. He's another, he's another diamond in the rough. Kick and go. Go real good. And he's being scouted by a lot of promotions right now. So he can go a few different places. All right. Check him out. Look him up. He's the truth. He's legit. Okay. He can cut on the mic. He can go in the ring. He's young. He's healthy. I know. Uh, see, because we were, we were picking from a lot of the ind independent scene because we're messing with AAA. Well, they said mess free agents. They said any free agents. Exactly. And Lee, Mori uh, and Lee Moriarty fits right in that wheelhouse. So why would you not, like, like with Andrade sitting there, I would think Andrade would be a great pick at five or six. I agree, but I suspect, I, I have the strongest feeling that Andrade's probably already set himself up to either go uh, with AAA on a permanent basis, go back home basically, or he's going to jump over to AEW. That's my feeling, and that's why I haven't touched him. Well, didn't he sign with uh, AAA? 
that he's going to wrestle, but that's not till like said August, September for. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 it's going to be a minute. So yeah, it's going to be a while before that match happens against Kenny Omega. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's so that's many. Yeah, they just they just put in the seas now. For because I'm gonna be the honest, if, if, build up. Yeah, yeah, if I was feeling grimy, I would have picked Omega because he's a Triple A champion. But that's not how that works. Yeah. So that's fine. Uh, but so yeah. Uh, Four Moriarty. horse and Moriarty. Moriarty. All right. So now he's gonna start crying again, like he just did when I picked two guys at tag team. <laughs> because my next pick, nobody mentioned this either. So, but I am going with my homegirl, Genocide. She's a good pick, man. She had a really good showing too, like in NWA. They, they are trying to build a women's division. They were starting it, and then Sita Sang got hurt when she got the injury, and then they put it on pause, and then Kobe hit. Yeah. And she's still down in China, you know, and she's fully healed now, and I'm hoping that they will restart what they were trying to do with the women's division, bring her back into the stage, and then pick up some indies. Genocide will be my next pick. She's a beast. We already seen her in AEW. We've seen her in NWA. A couple of matches there. She stood up against Camille and she gave Camille a good ass match there. Oh, Whoa, she that, shit, that shit was good. She, so Je- Genocide will be my pick. And and if 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 I think underground goes back to uh male and female intergender stuff again like they used to why can genocide beat the shit or half of those guys there so genocide is my seventh pick Woo, that's a good pick i love genocide i can't even say nothing because i've been enjoying her work and the last thing i recently seen was her versus camille where they tore the house down and she pushed camille to the to the brink where camille's getting a major push now so Genocide now, I wasn't, shit. Sure, I wasn't sure if you're going to start complaining or oh, we didn't say anything about women wrestlers. The only reason <laughs> why know? I didn't, the only reason why I'm not going to bother is only because I don't know if that's, you know what I mean? Like, until I get an announcement, I got to yeah. feel like that's probably still going to be on pause. Like, until that, like, they get that locked in and they're ready to go. Depends on how much time they're going to have for the show through Vice and a bunch of things. So I figured I would hold off on a bunch of those ideas until I knew for certain. So you're on the clock. Who you got with your seventh pick? Uh, so out of Dragon's Gate, uh, Kisu, Kisuke Okuda. He's uh, Kisuke Okuda has been uh, the Open uh, Brave Gate Championship champion for a minute. Okay, the dude is legit in the ring. He's got a strong uh, Greco wrestling. He debuted back in 2013 in IGF, and dude. He dominates the crap out of Dragon's Gate. He's easily a pickup. Easily a pickup. I see you like go. that He's got that strong head. style. Like, all right, I what? dig that pick. All right. All right, so so I counter pick his pick with another grand with another Dragon Gate member and his Dragon Gate royalty at that. And I'm surprised he didn't touch him. My man, and I love this dude. Why this guy's there being in the state is beyond me. But I go with BB Hulk. That is a talented brother. I love BB Hulk. I love his look. I love his wrestling. I love dude. Right from the beginning, he gets you in with just his entrance to the ring because he has usually two to four dancers with him. They do the little dance and then he joins them. He goes on the top and does a uh, uh, backflip on the top rope and finish the whole dance sequence, bro. Right there, he already sucks you into him as a performer. If you don't love that from him and the rest of the stuff that he does, then then you don't have a pause in wrestling. <laughs> but why this man has never been in the stage is beyond me. I mean, I know for a while he's he's like a. I want to say a whole Kogan of, or even a sting of Dragon Gate. You know, like wow. when they go, st- when they go stale, they come with a different gimmick. Then he came out with Black B, with Black Hulk. He'll come out uh, a black, uh, like all black face paint, body paint, 
all over with green side like 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 he was the Hulk for a while. He was being you know a heel. Then he was coming out with like a big mask for a while. So yeah, he 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 definitely has transcended himself, invented different characters so he don't get stale and stuff like that. So that that's 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 me right there. Macho eighth I mean, pick. I mean, if you, if you if you want to know why I didn't pick BB Hulk, it's because of the reason that he mentioned, is he hasn't been in the states yet. So yeah. I figured he might pick him anyway, so he could have it. As for my next whatever. pick, I decided to uh, wait till this point in time. I picked the tag team up, the Aggression. Now the so Aggression. So this is your eighth and ninth pick. Yes. Okay. The Aggression uh, come out of Pro Wrestling Noah. Uh, that's Katsuhiko Nakajima and Masa Kadamiya, who are beasts of a freaking tag team. They can go in any division, in any promotion, and dominate an entire tag team division. They are that good. Together, I would put them up against almost any tag team from anywhere. All right. They are flat out good. They're young, they're healthy. All right. And when they uh, signed back in Pro, Rest, uh, Pro Wrestling North for a minute ago, people were unsure. But honestly, because they put a younger guy with a, a bit of a veteran, they've gelled phenomenally. They came out of New Japan Dojo, and they've been knocking it out ever since. I mean, these guys have gone head-to-head -head with some of the top talent in New Japan. And th that Dojo is legit. Yeah. Uh, his nickname's the Supernova. And he's Ko uh, Kenta Kobashi, uh, Sayama... Liger, uh, Fujinama, they've wrestled all these cats, and they can stand up. All right. So that means I get two picks then. Well, you no, know, technically you're at your ninth pick, and he just finished his ninth. Yeah, but he, that's a tag team. Yeah, so he took oh, eight yeah. and nine, yeah, about, so you're yeah, on your ninth. Yes. All right. So right now I'm going to go to Mexico. And I love this dude. Uh, we saw him an impact for a couple of times. Yeah, when they were doing that monster three months taping. And I love him because I would love his style. He comes out with a cowboy hat, a big ass rope made of a lasso, just in case he wants to talk some guys. And that's Mr. Tejano Jr. I, I love that guy. I didn't know that his he work. Woke him up. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know his work and then he went to the impact zone and I remember him and James Storm and obviously you know James Storm's a big homie and I was like damn this guy's like is very close to what you do and he was like bro he's a badass and I was like oh shit and they did have a match absolutely phenomenal won me over I was like this guy is super legit so I'm a fan of Tejano Jr. I think he is or Texano whatever they say it however I chop everybody's name up Tejano that's what I said. I said Tejano, but you know, just in case for the uh, the uh, uh, non non bilinguals, <laughs> non bilinguals. So listen, he just dropped his ninth pick. You have your final pick in the draft, and I am so surprised the name has not been said. I'm gonna let you say who you're gonna say. I'm gonna let him say who he's gonna say. But if this name doesn't pop up, I'm gonna be surprised. Uh, what's your last pick in the draft? This is his tenth pick. Bill Fink, you want to make an appearance here? No, do what you got to do. <laughs> All right. My last and final pick is none other than A.R. Fox. Oh. A.R. Fox is also known as Dante Fox, who's wrestled, who's wrestled in a lot of different promotions. The dude is put together. Yeah. He's got a phenomenal wrestling style. He knows the business. He's yep. put in his time on the independent scene. He's wrestled for Lucha, Evolve, Dragon's Gate, CZW. Like, the dude's a world warrior. He's healthy, he's put on some amazing matches with so many people, and he's got a look that draws a lot of fans in. Like, as Dark Horses go, like, dude, you can't sleep on him. All right? And that, boom, how you do number 10. Well, well I'm, 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 I'm going to say yeah, and then I'm going to flip you one over, because this, my pick is going to be better than your pick anyways. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm 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 conflicted because both of these guys are from AAA, so I'm conflicted on who I'm going to pick with number ten. But but whoo, 
en tout cas, qu'on vous flagge. Nah. You know something? I want to hate myself, but I, I, I got to pick a champion for Mexico. So I'm going to go with Laredo Kid. Okay. Even though, even though it was close between him and someone else, but the flip one, the, the flip one, the coin flip one, and pick La, Laredo Kid because he's a champion. And I can't wait to see match number two between him and um, Leo, Leo Rush. Rush. Yes, Leo Rush, which I don't like, but he, he had a good match against Myron Reed. I can't wait to see him. But, yeah, I'm kind of mad because uh, I, wish, I wish we had an 11 pick. I would have picked this other dude, but, yeah. So, hold on, hold on. What we'll do, because let's give an honorary pick, because I'm curious who you got, and I know you got another good one. Honorary mention. All right. I was going to go between him or Pagano. Pagano's a good one. But, so I, I had to flip and you know, and he's a champion already with a belt already in the roster. So honorary, honorary pick who you got, Macho, you're on the clock. Oh, Daga. Daga? What? Really? Oh. Why not? Me? What's wrong with Daga? Dude, you just lost you just lost your company. What? Daga doesn't have that kind of heat. Wow. Damn, dude. Oh, it's, it's not heat. It's the baggage that he's carrying with him now. After he got married, it's the, the baggage that he's going to carry lots with him. Lots of wrestlers are married to lots of other people, but that doesn't mean that they show up in the promotions, B. Dog is legit. <laughs> you know not, what? Not in, not in 2021. It's different nowadays. I thought Dog was all right. I'm not even going to hate on him. But how is Son of Havoc Matt Cross not on your list? How is Mil Muertes not on your list? So Mil's not on my list only because I figured one he was going to try to snap him up with Azteca, um, and that's all. There's, there was a couple of choices here where I looked at that that one spot and I was like, no, that's probably he's going to go with that. So I went and took so, a sport somewhere your, else. That's your thing as the general manager of your franchise. You got to adjust in the draft of how the other person is doing. Who they lose out, you win over. Mills are given, though. Mills is here. Well, Mills not going well, anywhere. Well, think about it. If, if it was like that, what happened to La Parks? Those Parks. Yeah. Nobody picked them, but, you know. I, Again, I, I, go, expected, I expected you to go with those Parks. Well, no. I, and I did minds between who are really – my face is of the company. You know what I'm saying? I see them more as being AAA guys and staying in Mexico long run than being here. But if I'm going to build something... But, but the parks are here. Yeah, I understand that, but they go back and forth too, man. You know, one of these days, they're going to say, you know something, we're going to go back home and stay there. Especially their father. Without their father, Los Parks is just a name. The father is their main attraction. The father is the one who's still wrestling, and the dude's pushing 60. Still doing those. Is he that old? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's late, late 50s uh, already. Par- par- he's in WCW, 50s. right? Yeah. Yes. That, that's him, the same dude. He was and growing. He, yeah, he was growing back then. So. Uh, yeah, he's, he's pushing 60 if he hasn't seen 60 yet. Him, <sighs> him, if he was like that, him. And Dr. Warner Jr., I would have picked them. Wagner. Except both of yeah, them yeah. are the stage. But for those guys that are pushing 60. And Dr. Warner's only been one, one appearance in MLW or, or two matches in the last I, I couple just, of years. I, but I was, even at his I, age, Wagner Jr. is still good. But dude, oh, like, of course. Yeah, he looks like Batman. Like an, older see, version of, like an older version of Batman. I see your guys' list, and I was like, wow, no low key. Oh, no. yeah. Loki. Loki was, on, Loki was on my first draft, but again, when you trim me down to like ten dudes, I got to make some tight cuts. Yeah, it's a ten. This ten man draft. There's no Loki. There's no. Uh, oh my God! I just forgot his name. He's he's the MMA fighter from New Jersey. Dude, I had Loki, ACH. I had a group of dudes that I on a bigger list that I had to trim down to ten. So what's you know, the guy? I, I just I literally just forgot his name, and I'm a fan of the guy. He's with uh, t- uh, t- uh, 
top team. The he was he fought low key in the filthy island match. King What's Mo. his name? Mo King Mo. King like, Mo. Yeah, Mo. I love King Mo. I do too. But I mean, like these these guys left. Uh, Matt Cross, no son of havoc, no low key, no like. Well, he should be the top two picks. They had. Yeah, no low key at all. No worthies. Again, New Worth wasn't drafted. I guess Hammerstone was drafted after number one. Hammerstone was drafted number one. <laughs> was Jacob Fox two drafted number one for the other guy? Yeah. <laughs> of course. You know, like, like once again, if I'm building my company, I want youth in my, my company. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we we all we, we you you need you some veterans. Look. You can use what? What, what he say? You can use low key. I, Not only I as a veteran present, but also to that. build younger talent. Boom. But, dude, right, if you right, have right, this podcast, you get your monkey ass out of here. So, so all listen, those, all those stories of all the headaches with low key, you know, I, I, I had to stick with young people, man. I, I got nah, you know, low key, low key, is still legit, dude. Of course. Yeah, he's so know, legit. I, I said, you didn't I, draft him. Yeah, side, I had, yeah, side, whatever. I'm not hearing not, nothing out of you. What, what are your 10 picks, Chef? Come on, bro. Yeah. Well, it's, I don't know. Like, it sounds I, easier than it is, right? All right. Hold up. Because I'd have to pick 10 guys that you guys didn't have to pick. So I go low key. I go King Mo. Uh, I would do Son of Havoc. I would do Evil East. Um, I would go, I go Thomas Latimer. Well, that no, point, he, I would, yeah, he's no, NWA, no. though. All right, all right. So, no NWA. So, I still got four. Um, Dude, just, just stay as a commissioner, bro. Just stay as a commissioner. Just oh, I go right Tom there. Lawler, then? I go Tom Lawler and Hey, Fox. just say Team Filthy and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah, Caribbean yeah, champ. Yeah, I think guys right I, there in I, Team listen, Filthy. I go Kevin Cool because Kevin Cool had an ill match against TJB. Yeah, that's, that's Team Filthy, bro. Kevin Koo is not Team Filthy. Kevin Koo's part of the Filthy crew. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. All right, so regardless of what, I'm your commissioner, your host of the most, everything else. Come Ladies, on. Come on, let's light them up. MLW <laughs> fans can't light me up. Your draft is trash. So, but everybody that's been watching this, I'm a fan of your draft. <laughs> Listen, it's going to be www.urbanwrestlingnetwork.com. For the entire team, everybody still had the job here somehow. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out of here. Deuces. And pick a winner.